Hey guys, welcome to Dental Mate. In this video, we'll be talking about fibroblasts, which are the most numerous cells in the pulp. Let's get started. See, fibroblasts are the most numerous pulp cells. They are active in pulp collagen production. Okay. Let's, let us talk about the structures of fibroblasts. They have a typical stellate shape with numerous branching. See, this is a typical stellate shaped cells with numerous branching. So they have a typical stellate shape with numerous branching. They, con they, are con they contact and join by intercellular junction to the processes of other fibroblasts. They take up the hematoxylant stain. The cytoplasm is eosinophilic. They have an oval nucleus. Okay. So they have an oval nucleus. They have cell processes, rough endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, polyribosomes, collagen fibrils. Now, what happens is the Golgi apparatus, they release intermediate transfer vesicles or secretory granules. Okay. Let us talk about depending on the age of the pulp, the fibroblasts have different appearance. Let us see how they appear in young pulp and in old pulp. In young pulp, the cell divides continuously, whereas there is less division in the old pulp. So in younger pulp, there is act, they are active in protein synthesis and they in older pulp, they are not in an active synthesis phase. See, younger, younger pulp fibroblast is stellate shaped, whereas in old pulp, it is round or spindle shaped. They have long processes here. Can you see the long processes? Whereas these here, they have short processes. There is decrease in the intracellular organelles. Sorry, in young pulp, there is numerous intracellular organelles. Okay, in young pulp, there are numerous intracellular organelles, whereas in old pulp, there are few intracellular organelles. In old pulp, there are few. Whereas in young pulp, there are numerous intracellular organelles. So higher cellular element in young pulp, lesser cellular element in old pulp. The fibrous component is less, whereas in old pulp, the fibrous component predominate. Okay. Now, if we talk about the functions of fibroblast, so their first function is the hemostasis of the collagen in the heart of the tooth that is pulp so while performing the hemostasis of collagen they play a dual role what is the dual role played by them it is the formation of collagen and other ground substance and ingestion and degradation of the same matrix see usko form bhi karte hai, whereas ingest or degrade bhi karte hai. the formation of collagen it could be intracellular or extracellular. Okay, first of all, let us see how the intracellular and extracellular collagen fibers are produced. First up, talking about the intracellular form. In intracellular form, what happens is there are numerous proteins present in the cytoplasm that is glycine, proline, certain polypeptide chains, so first of all, what happens is there is addition of carbohydrate to the polypeptide chain. After that, this is removed or uh, sent out uh, from the cell in the form of procollagen. Okay. Now extracellularly, what happens is this procollagen peptidase enzyme, it acts on the procollagen and it forms it as tropocollagen okay procollagen 
एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलरली एक एंजाइम प्रेजेंट होता है प्रोकोलेजन ये सेल ने बाहर डिफ्यूज कर दिया प्रोकोलेजन एक्सोसाइटोसिस से तो एक एंजाइम एन एंजाइम कम्स इन टू रोल दैट इज प्रोकोलेजन पैप्टिडेज प्रोकोलेजन पैप्टिडेज एक्ट्स ऑन टू दिस प्रोकोलेजन नाउ दिस प्रोकोलेजन आफ्टर एक्शन ऑफ प्रोकोलेजन पैप्टिडेज इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू ट्रोपोकोलेजन दिस ट्रोपोकोलेजन फॉर्म्स यूनिट यूनिट फिब्रल्स ऑफ कोलेजन एंड देन द कोलेजन इज फॉर्म एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलरली तो इंट्रा सेलुलर एंड एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर दोनों टू स्टेप प्रोसेस है द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कोलेजन फाइबर इज अ टू स्टेप प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्विंग फ्यू स्टेप्स इंट्रा सेलुलरली एंड फ्यू स्टेप्स एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलरली फाइनल कोलेजन प्रोडक्शन टेक्स प्लेस एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलरली नाउ वी हैव सीन दैट दे आर प्लेइंग अ डुअल रोल to maintain the homostasis in the heart of the tooth that is pulp so this is the production of the collagen next they also carry out the ingestion and the degradation of the same collagen so intracellular degradation is carried out by fibroclasts whereas the extracellular degradation is carried out by matrix metalloproteins there is a repair or healing play a process taking place during the inflammation so first function that we saw was the hemostasis of the collagen second function that the fibroblast perform is repair or healing process during the inflammation so how does the repair or healing process takes place by secretion of certain angiogenic factors such as the fibroblast growth factor 2 and the vascular endothelium growth factor along with that by the formation of new blood vessels on the site of repair so these are the functions of fibroblast and its structure see what functions have we seen that it performs two functions hemostasis of collagen in the pulp and second is repair or healing process during the inflammation hemostasis may dual role formation of the collagen also and other ground substance along with that ingestion and degradation of the same matrix formation we have seen it is a dual process or two step process intracellular extracellular dono hota hai whereas ingestion or degradation intracellularly by fibroclast extracellular degradation by matrix metalloproteins and next function is repair or healing process isme ye angiogenic factors secrete karta hai like fgf2 and vegf and secondly it also forms new blood vessels on the site of repair this is it about the fibroblasts stay tuned keep visiting thank you